Hey guys, Jay's Reptiles here. And today I thought I would do another retake video, but this is more over the setup. What she is being held in. And uh, how everything's working. And I hope this and I hope this helps you guys. Alright, um... So this is her setup. I'm gonna sit back down so you can see it. This is her setup. It's actually pretty big. It doesn't look that big, but it's actually pretty big. It really is. Um, uh, it's a 50 gallon tub. And the reason why I use tubs is that they hold humidity better. So if you want to retake, I would advise either building your own enclosure that is suitable for retake, so that means it holds humidity well. But I would not put your retake in a glass enclosure. Because as the screen is, it's just not good. He, it does not hold humidity. I know people can put towels and stuff, wet towels over it. It's just a, it's a hassle, and you know, I think it just, it's just better for your retic. Either you do racks, tubs, or homemade enclosure. That's what I would do. And uh, she's in a tub right now, which has been customized and converted into something else, into an enclosure for a retic. And what I've done is I've used a box cutter and I've cut out. A piece of this plastic this is the, the lids is this lid is a soft plastic like a I don't know like a soft plastic so it was easy to cut and it doesn't break really easily like uh this wood this is not this is hard and this would break if you try to staple it with a nail gun uh or staple gun I don't I think it'd be called staple gun um yeah so we used a staple gun and we took this chicken wire what I did was I bought some chicken wire I cut it uh made it fit this square and then I stapled it with a stapled gun. And uh, that's how that's working out. This is a Ceramatic heat emitter. It's a 250 watt. Works really well. It heats really well. And uh, what this is, is an Exoterra porcelain lamp clamp. This is this is the Exoterra porcelain lamp and clamp. It comes with a clamp, but I took it off. Um, and this is hooked up to a Zilla thermostat. These are cheap thermostats. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard bad and good reviews. I'm just going to tell you. I've not had any bad experiences with them, and I have three of them. They work all, they all work well, so I do suggest buying one of these if you don't have enough money to buy one of those expensive ones, expensive thermostats. It's a Zilla thermostat. It's like $25, and it's working really well. And, um, yeah, this is her enclosure. It's 81.1 on the cool side, and 90. 1.4 on the hot side and this is how this is uh i have a snake hook you always want a snake hook feeding tongs yeah uh this is a temp gun and most reptile owners have these it's the con uh it's the monitor the heat just check and see make sure not things are getting too hot you know and uh yeah basically what i did was i took the cold the cold side probe from the from this thermometer and it slid it into the plastic it just goes up and down I take this on the outside so then it would just stay and then I just dangle the cold side probe cold the probe that is for the cold side on the cold side yeah I dangle in it like that and it reads the temperature and I did the same thing actually I don't know if you guys can see that in there um, uh, I don't want to have to open that. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see that. But basically what I did was I took the thermom thermostat probe and another thermometer probe, twist tied them together, and hung them on this side. If you see that, uh, see those wires right there? So that's how I did it. I just swung it through there and I put it, I didn't put it directly under the heat source. I put it beside it. So if you see those wires down there, it's beside it. So it doesn't heat up too fast and not get the right temperature, but it heats up all right. And uh, it's working real well. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope this helped. I just wanted to show you this off and hope this helped you guys. Um, Please like, subscribe, and comment for more. Bye, guys.